So I dream about you now Don't give a damn, it's just me and my boo now Jump on a plane on occasion Somewhere in Southeast Asia I got some stories to trade you All of the moves are so major Yo Yo, what's good? What's poppin' OG? What up, my G? If you wanna just talk about, you know, from How you felt when you first started music And when you realized that you tapped into you know, this raw talent that you have. Right. Um, I was like, I was always writing rhymes at an early age, you know, listening to Jay and, um, like, I'm talking about like 10, 9 years old, writing rhymes. My brother would tell you, like, I had like this, this Sonic the Hedgehog, like, notebook with rhymes in it. I was like eight or nine years old writing the craziest shit, like not good shit, but just, you know, like for a nine year old to be writing shit like that is probably a little wild. But listening to Jay Z, Eminem, Nas, um, and who else? Wu Chang, Limp Bizkit, all these random artists, and I was just like, oh, I wanna like, I wanna do that, I wanna write rhymes. But then, like, I never thought, like, I would actually really go hard with it until, like, 16. And that's when I was, like, able to see that, oh, you could do this shit yourself. Yeah. Do you think, do you think part of that learning process was, you know, finding out, like, who you are, and then, you know, once you find out who you are, you know, in the different stages of life, were you able to put it through the music? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I mean, to this day, I'm still, you know, trying to find, I know who I am and I know what I want to be, like, definitely at a more clear level, but I'm learning every day. But at those, at those young ages, I was definitely still trying to figure out, you know, who I am for sure. And that, 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 that's not something you do by writing and writing and writing. That's something you just gotta like live and like learn through life experience. I feel like, mm -hmm. and, and now it's about finding more of a balance, like with just like my whole my whole concept. Now I was telling you in the in the last interview is just like less is more. So how can I say a lot? How can I explain a lot about my life or explain a lot about a certain emotion without? But still have the song be like able to to to, to vibe to like you don't have to like you know be by yourself. Are mm -hmm. you your favorite rapper? Yeah, for sure. I listen to my shit because I feel like I did it. I did it the best. What's the closest you ever come to quitting? If you ever hit that point, and why? <laughs> I mean, it's more, that's more of a mental thing. Like, I haven't taken any knees to quit, but like, I, I, you know, I feel like the, it's not me that's coming close to quitting. It's just like life that's coming, like, I feel like as I get older, like, if, if, if rap don't put food on the table, then it's just like, you know, as a survivor, that's, in order to survive, I'm not going to be able to rap. But I'm always probably going to do it. I feel like I'm always going to have the studio in the crib. But I'll, it'll just be less. I'll have to take time out of that and put it into other things. Um, but I'm definitely not there yet. You know what I'm saying? I definitely still have, like, this desire to make, like... Mm -hmm. I want to know, like, the story behind, like, like Reggae Law. It, we, we started... We all started... Me, YL... Bob, my boy Jeff, we all, we were all chilling and like, oh shit, we gotta, we gotta have something that we go by. And me and Jeff were walking one day and I was just like, yo, Reggie Law, cause, you know, like we just regular kids trying to do this, but there's something special too, so that's why we're gonna not spell it the right way, we're gonna spell it with three R's at the end. Yeah. I definitely always want to try to write things that I feel like, you know, people are living also, like people can relate to. Like, when, I don't, I don't want to come across necessarily as like wise, like giving a lecture, 
in my raps, I want to kind of come across as like wise in the sense like like we feeling the same things, and I'm just trying to express that so that you can like if you couldn't express it in words, like, I'm trying to express it for for us, just like everybody else. I'm trying to get on that billboard. You know what I mean? I'm trying to trying to get on the charts, trying to trying to be played everywhere. So that's that's where my mind is at right now. Like like I want to make a song that that that's that everyone's gonna. I want to make a hit. So that's where I'm at right now, for sure. Kid is a winner, Colombian winner. Shorty a sniffer, yakking a sniffer. Jacket get zipped, package get picked up, Michelin dinner. Used to ball out at a rec center. Now I'm just balling wherever I end up, I'll be here forever like I got a team. Never complacent, never too far from my home if you're rolling adjacent. We on some gang shit. But I'm alone when I'm fighting my anguish, foreign the language. Coming from shorty, she talked to me sideways. I need my money, be coming in five ways. Used to smoke up on the fire escape. I can't imagine a different life. Used to play for this shit every night. Now I don't pray, I just get this shit done. Ain't much to say when the beat don't run. Ain't gotta worry, the cheese gon' come. Married the game, no prenup. High off this life, I don't need no bump. Vision a million, we at the top, we at the atrium. 